All right, so today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best five classes to run after Season 1 in Black Ops Cold War. So real quick, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Now, I want to say real quick, guys, our last top five videos got over 100,000 views. I just want to say thank you guys for the support on that video. In this video, everything is updated, and every time I do upload these videos, they're always going to be updated after the nerfs the buffs or whatever weapon that may be dropping so make sure to do that and as well guys make sure to go check me out on twitch i live stream every single day i'm getting close to hitting partnership and as well 10,000 followers so make sure to go do all that stuff it's going to be in the description and as well the pinned comment under the video but anyways guys let's go ahead and get into the best five claps to run in season one <laughs> Alright, so guys, I'm going to be showing you my favorite class sub to use, and honestly guys, when I'm live streaming on Twitch, which real quick, it's going to be in the description and the pinned comment, um, I have guarantee, like, was it just the last week, I've probably gave this class sub over to a 300 people, these class setups are really good, and when I'm live streaming on Twitch, I give you more good class setups, the good settings, some more tips and tricks, and a lot of people learn from my gameplays because I teach you a little bit of secrets about the game. So make sure to go do that. But the AK-47, like I said, I've given this class up to, I guarantee, over 300 people because of how good this class setup is. So for the first attachment, you're going to want to throw on the KGB Eliminator Muzzle. This can help with 17% more vertical recoil control. So basically, this is going to help just have more recoil con uh, control of your weapon. And if This means that if you have more control of your weapon, you're going to be able to hit your shots more, get more kills, and just more Enjoy yourself when you're playing call of duty which is very nice the takedown barrel is going to be the next thing we're going to get 150 percent more effective damage at range now this means that our bullets are going to be way more effective at a longer distance so i think this one is about 95.25 meters yeah it is now as you see the stock effective damage at range is 38.1 meters and it definitely goes up to 95 which is going to be very helpful now when it comes to playing in these 6v6 maps which i think more people play 6v6 than 12v12 um, I definitely don't think that gunfights go up from past like 100 meters. So anything definitely under 100 meters, you're definitely just going to outmap people. But maybe you have a sniper or two to be annoying and you're definitely going to be able to map them across the map. But it takes a little bit more bullets. But uh, this barrel is going to be very, very helpful to use. So make sure you use it. The next attachment is going to be the steady aim laser. This can help with 20% more hip fire accuracy. Now, you know... Of course, you guys know not every time you can aim down sight when firing, so sometimes you just need to hit that hip fire. I know the hip firing is not the best in this game, but uh, you know, stuff that helps you get hip fire, you know, definitely put that on so you can at least attempt to hit shots when you need to. The next attachment is going to be the inflator grip. This can be very helpful because you get 5% more movement speed, shooting moving speed, and as well, aim mocking movement speed. This is very nice. You know, you get that movement speed. You can, you know, flank people around quickly and just move around the map quicker, which is very nice. So you want to throw this on. The next attachment is going to be the 50 round fast mag. This can help with ammo capacity, reload quickness, max starting ammo, and as well ammo capacity, which can be very nice. You're just going to be a tank, not have to worry about losing any ammo, running out of bullets, or anything like that. So throw this on. The next attachment is going to be the Gru Elastic Wrap. This can help with 30% more aim down sight speed, up to 30%, 90% more flinch resistance, and as well aim walking movement, walking movement speed, aim down sight speed. Uh, flinch resistance and as well you'll be able to drop shot while aiming down sight which is very overpowered and finally the kgb skeletal stock this can help with 30 percent more sp uh, sprint to fire speeds and 40 percent more aim walking movement speed which is very nice if you want to know the rest of the class i'm running the dual dematis with stem shot c4 field mic with flak jacket scavenger uh spycraft the the secondary the lethal tactical field upgrade and the perks are all the same so i'm just going to be going over the primaries we're going to go through my next favorite class up which is going to be the mp5 all right, now the MP5 is one of my favorite SMGs to use in the game. It's definitely in the top three. Now the SMG, this is definitely going to be the one I use when it comes to just playing against tryhards, sweating, let's like just go full sweat mode if people are getting on my nerves or whatnot. I use this class it up just to kind of go crazy ballistic mode and people love using this class it up as well. So the first attachment is going to be the SOCOM Eliminator Muzzle. This can help with 17% more vertical recoil control. Now this is basically just going to help again have more control of your weapon which is going to help you perform better in games. So make sure to throw this on. The next attachment is going to be the 9.5 Ranger Barrel. This can help with 100% more bullet velocity. Now when you look at the detailed sheet, this is going to have 500 meters per second, which is very nice. This means that our bullets are going to be traveling 500 meters per second, which our target is going to be getting hit quicker, 
technically will be able to kill faster. The next attachment is going to be the steady aim laser. I use this just for hip fire accuracy. I don't use it for anything else, which is very nice because you need to get those lucky hip uh, hip fire sometimes if just needed. The next attachment is going to be the field agent grip. This can help with 6% more vertical recoil control and 20% more horizontal. So basically this is going to help you have full control of your weapon. You're not going to have any recoil and you're just going to be able to map anybody across the map of how fast the gun shoots or whatever. As you see the SMG has a pretty high accuracy rate for all the stuff I have on it. And plus the MP5 does shoot quick so this is a very good SMG build so far. So make sure to throw this on. The magazine side is the 40 round fast mag. We're going to have ammo capacity. We're going to have more bullets in the magazine. We're going to be able to reload quick, have more ammo after the start of the game, and as well hold more ammos in the reserve. This is very nice. You're never going to run out of ammo. You're going to be able to reload quick. You're going to be able to shoot more, which is very helpful. The next attachment is going to be the airborne elastic wrap. This is going to be very helpful because you get 30% more aim down sight speeds, up to 30%, 90% more flinch resistance. So basically, you have toughness. And as well, you're going to be able to drop shot while aiming down sight. So this is going to be your helpful just being aggressive, kind of juking your opponents out. And then finally, we have the Raider stock, which is going to help with 30% more sprint to fire speeds, which is going to be able to shoot faster off a sprint. And as well, 10% more aim walking movement speed, which is going to be very helpful as well, just because you're going to be able to just aim down sight, just move faster, and overall just have more fun. Now that is the MP5. Now we're going to go through the XM4, which has no recoil. You guys are definitely going to love using this class setup. All right, so we're here with the XM4, and I love using this class up when I'm kind of playing slow, just trying to get a lot of streaks from a far distance, and as well, just as like a, a class up I use for high kill gameplays. So this is very good because you're going to be able to map people across the map. You have no recoil on the weapon. As you see as the graph here, the accuracy is really high on this class. You're not going to have any recoil, have full control of your weapon, and you're just going to be a monster with this one. Now for our first attachment, we have the Microflex LED. Now I'm using this because of how thin the frame is, like for the red dot side, how thin the frames are. So when you're aiming down sights, you're going to be able to see around the weapon, which is very nice. So this is going to be very helpful because if there's multiple targets, you'll just be able to snap onto them one by one, which is very nice and very helpful. The next attachment is going to be the SOCOM Eliminator Muzzle. This is going to help with 17% more vertical recoil control. Again, you know, having more control of your weapon is going to be very beneficial for you because you will be able to perform better, have a better gaming experience and stuff like that. So make sure to throw this on. The next attachment is going to be the Takedown Barrel. And that's going to help with 150% more effective damage at range. Now, as you see here, the base effective damage at range is 45.72, which I definitely see a nerf incoming for this weapon. But as of right now, the effective damage at range is going 150. So our effective damage at range now is going to be 114.3 meters, which is very nice. So basically, any 6v6 map, in some gunfights from, uh, you know, 12v12 or fire team, whatever, you it's definitely going to be in that 114 meter range. So you're definitely going to map people across the map and just melt people from a long distance, which is very helpful. The next attachment is going to be the steady aim laser. Again, you know, you have to have that lucky hip fire. So you need to, uh, you know, run this to be very helpful. The next attachment is going to be the field agent grip. This can help with 6% more vertical recoil control and as well 20% more horizontal. So basically, we have no more control, uh, no more uh, recoil on our weapon and we have full control of the weapon, which is going to be very, very nice. So you need to throw this on. The next attachment is going to be the 50 round fast mag. This is going to help with ammo capacity reload quickness starting ammo and as well just holding more ammo in the magazines and reserves so i think this goes up to 240 reserves when you're holding ammo which is very nice so you're gonna want to throw this on the next attachment is going to be the airborne elastic wrap this is going to help with 30 percent more aim down sight speeds 90 percent more flinch resistance so basically we have toughness from bo2 and as well you're going to be able to drop shot while aiming down sight which is going to be very helpful to just kind of juke out your opponents and just play more weirder i guess you can say when it comes to just playing other people and then finally here we have the raider pad which is going to help with 30 percent more sprint to fire speed so basically you're going to be able to shoot faster off a sprint and as well you're going to be able to move faster while aiming down sights with 40 percent more aim walking movement speed which is very very helpful now we're going to go into our pro class setup which is going to be the krig six all right, so we have the Krig 6 here. Now, if you watch most pros, they use either the Krig, the AK-74U, the MP5. And I don't know if they're using the AK-47 since it got toned down. I'm not too sure yet. But most people I see are using the Krig 6. Now, this has no recoil. 
this is definitely a great class setup to run so you're going to want to run these class setups and these attachments uh, the first attachment is going to be the microflex led this is very helpful just because again how thin the frames are you can be able to snap people quicker because you can see around the scope the muzzle is going to be the socom eliminator this is going to help with 17 percent more vertical recoil control so again you have full control of your weapon you're not going to you're not going to miss any shots and you're just going to perform better in your games the next attachment is going to be the takedown barrel uh this is 150 percent more effective damage at range as you see here our damage at range is going to be 127 meters so basically anywhere around the map you're going to melt regardless whatever it may be wherever you're going to melt the next attachment is going to be the steady aim laser that's going to help with 20 percent more hip fire accuracy which is very nice the under barrel is going to be the field agent grip this can help with six percent more vertical recoil control and 20 percent more horizontal so basically we have full control of our weapon as you see as the graph no recoil super overpowered you're going to want to trust me on this one the next attachment is going to be the 50 round fast mag which is going to be very helpful again for ammo capacity reload quickness starting ammo and as well having more ammo in the reserves very nice the airborne elastic wrap is going to be our next attachment it's going to help with 30 percent more aim down sight speed 90 percent more flinch resistance and as well you're going to be able to drop shot while aiming down sight and then finally the raider stock which is going to help with 30 percent more sprint to fire speeds and 40 percent more aim walking movement speed which is going to be very helpful as well this is definitely the pro class setup and this is what pros use so definitely give this a shot and try it out and let me know in the comment section what you think about it and now we're going to go into our final and our favorite class setup to use here in black ops cold war all right, now guys, this is one of my favorite class setups to use in Black Ops Core, and I actually got a triple nuke using this class setup, almost a quad on live stream using this class. Now, this class setup is one of my most requested class setups to use in the like when I'm like you know streaming, people ask for this class setup. Uh, so this is definitely a good one. So you're gonna want the one, the sound suppressor, which can help with 100% more of muzzle flash concealment. So you're gonna so you're not gonna be showing up on the mini map. So this is a very good stealthy class setup to use. The next attachment is going to be the Liberator Barrel that's going to help with 100% more bullet velocity. Now look at this. We have 1,000 meters per second. That is so ridiculous. It's so overpowered. You guys do not understand how overpowered that is. That is insane. 1,000 meters per second is so, so overpowered. You guys are definitely going to want to use this one. The next attachment is going to be the Steady Aim Laser that's going to help with hip fire accuracy, which is really, really good to do. The next attachment is going to be the Spetnaz Grip. This can help with 6% more vertical recoil control and 20% more horizontal. So basically using this, as you see as the graph here on the bottom, the accuracy isn't too high, but as you, if you can control your weapon a little bit, it has no recoil, so you do not have to worry about it. The next attachment is going to be the 50 round fast mag. This can help with ammo capacity, reload quickness, starting ammo, and as well magazine ammo capacity. So you start out with more ammo, reload quick, Hold more bullets in the reserves and as well you can hold more bullets in a magazine it's up to 50. the airborne uh well for, not the handle uh the handle here is gonna be the grew elastic wrap this is gonna help with uh aimed out sight speed up to 30 percent flesh resistance is gonna be 90 percent so basically having toughness and as well aiming down sight while going prone you can be able to juke out your opponents just be overpowered and then finally the kgb skeletal stock this is gonna be super overpowered to use because you'll be able to shoot faster off a sprint up to 38 percent and as well 10 percent more aim walking movement speed which is very nice now these are all my class setup guys so i do hope you enjoy them if you want to let me know in the comment what is your favorite class setup to run in this game from like top five and anyways guys make sure to go follow me on twitch i live stream every day we're getting close to hitting partnership and as well 10,000 followers thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video peace